Hello, this is Stampy Longnose, and welcome to a Minecraft Let's Play video. I'm here starting off inside my bedroom, and I've actually got quite a lot of things to update you with uh, before I get into actually building anything. And I've got something which I think is pretty fantastic uh, to show off to you in a minute in the room which I'm going to be building in. Uh, but I'm going to leave that as a surprise until now. Actually, no, because you'll probably see the title of this video, uh, so you probably know what it is I'm talking about anyway. I'm basically building a library, but I've built something which I think uh, is pretty funky, and I was impressed by myself. But firstly, I've got a big dramatic reveal for you here, uh, because I've actually finished building the lighthouse, so I'm going to have a slow turnaround to reveal it to you being finished. Bum, 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 bum. There you can see my completed lighthouse, now completely made out of... Um, red wall and snow rather than half being made out of dirt so in my eyes that's definitely a good upgrade and <laughs> that's actually really stupid i did very bad maths and i was there collecting wool for ages thinking i didn't have enough but i actually ended up having about two stacks extra uh, by the time i finished it because i had bad math and um yeah so i actually had too much wool rather than not enough but it was okay because it meant that i could actually um, do the inside of my lighthouse a bit better. I sort of had more complete walls with sort of red stripes in the inside as well as the outside. I also see here I've added like a path uh, which leads all the way from the lighthouse uh, to my front door. So when people spawn into my world, they will start off at that lighthouse, not the lighthouse, the igloo, and then the sign will say go to the lighthouse. They get to the lighthouse, there's a sign there which says go over the bridge and then they just follow the path straight to my front door. So there's absolutely no chance uh, anyone could get lost when joining my world and trying to find my house. And so yeah, here it is completed. Um, I'll show you inside as well because I've actually finished the inside as well. And as I said uh, in my last video, this is actually an art gallery. So I've got all of the different type of pictures you can have in Minecraft. I think I may have accidentally missed a few of them, uh, but I'm pretty sure I got them all. And I looked up online uh, to see what they're called. So you see, I put some... Uh, plaques up and I've got every single sign and there's so many flaws in this lighthouse It's actually one of those buildings that look a lot bigger on the inside So if you're ever curious about what their names are, that's Match, apparently It looks more like Idiot Burning Hand if you ask me, but Match uh, Wanderer uh, Pinocchio, no sorry, Graham, that's Graham, apparently um, I think that's actually from a game, I think that's from a... Oh, is that Night something or other? Knight's Tale or something I think that's from uh, Moonlight Installation It's a very nice name picture for a picture of a skull uh, Donkey Kong, obviously uh, void, sunset, uh, creepet. There's a nice creeper's face. I think that's my favourite picture out of all of them. That sort of creeper just sort of poking over like a windowsill or something looks like. Uh, plant bomb. I don't. Why is that a bomb? I think that's just the destruction left after a bomb. It more looks like puke rather than bomb, if you ask me. Uh, uh, sorry, that's kind of horrible. Uh, stage, apparently. Um, Pool? Really? That's that's a pool? That looks like that looks kind of like a swan or something, and like a pooping swan. I should change that to pooping swan. Uh, skeleton, pretty pretty obvious. Fighters, once again pretty obvious. Um, Corbett, whatever. Uh, bust, C. I told you this goes on forever. Like every floor I get to, I always think, oh, this is the last one. Then there's another one. But I do actually think this is the last one now. Uh, pointer. <laughs> it's just the fighter from the other picture with a big finger. Uh, I think he's going to lose that fight. He's just going to get flicked. Uh, pig scene. Pretty obvious. I, I probably, actually, this, this is my second favourite picture in all of Minecraft after the creeper. Uh, flaming skull. Oh, that flaming skull. And yeah, see a nice tiny little view out my window there. I did a few doors. And yeah, the top of the lighthouse, I know I've shown you this before, but I can't climb all the way up here without admiring the beautiful view. Uh, so yeah, nothing else has changed large on my landscape. So yeah, this is this is my finished lighthouse and I'm kind of proud of it. And yeah, I think it's, it's probably the most impressive thing I've built uh, so far. But I've got some plans for the future to build even more impressive things than this. I don't know, like it was a one man project and yeah. It's, it's the best I've done so far, so if I am going to boast about anything... Oh, got to use the path, got to trample the lawn. Yeah, if I'm going to boast about anything, it might as well be that. <laughs> I'm not going to boast about anything else. I am eventually also going to change it so these flowers alternate between yellow and red flowers because I think having this massive row of yellow is kind of a bit like, whoa, like a bit sickly, a bit too much yellow. And the reason I've got so many yellow flowers is because I had to keep throwing down bone meal to try and get 
uh, red flowers to make red dye. And so these were all the leftover yellow flowers because I wasn't after yellow dye. I just had like absolutely load spare. And also something I haven't mentioned is I'm actually being joined by someone. And I know you're thinking, where is he? Uh, he's actually not here. He's actually in the nether and he's building me a little house in the nether. So if I go in, my nether portal will be uh, safe from gas and stuff. So that's kind of cool. It's Longbow, by the way, uh, who's down in the nether. And I'm actually going to grab a dog quick because... Um, yeah, I want some company on this journey. I should have taken a dog with me then. Uh, a few new name suggestions, I believe, have been added. Uh, uh, what's new? I think Porky and Duncan are the new dog suggestions. And I'm going to take I'm going to take Porky with me. Uh, he's this one. He's the fat one. Come on, Porky. <laughs> Every time I'm going to call my dog, it's just going to feel like I'm taking the piss out of it. Like, hurry up, Porky. No, no, I wasn't talking to you, pig. Sorry, pig. <laughs> And I was like, oh man, this is going to get confusing. I'm going to go like Porky and the pig's going to be like, yeah. It's like, no, sorry, not you. I'm just going to hurt that pig's feelings. Uh, this area has been slightly updated as well. You can just see I've added some sandstone on the floor. Um, it still looks a little bit ugly, but it's better than it was. Also, I added a slime farm. And basically, if you don't know what a slime farm is, it's just a big hollowed area. Trust me and jump. Keep right. Woo! It's just a big drop. Goes all the way down uh, to four blocks. To oh no! Porky! Did Porky just die? Have I? I think that's. I think that's a new record. I think that's a new record for killing a dog. Porky died right there. I think he just. <laughs> I think he jumped left. He didn't stay to the right. Or maybe he can't just survive in water. Or did he land on my head? Oh, that sucks. Man, Porky literally only just got suggested to be in a video, and I've already killed him. Oh, I feel bad. Who suggested Porky? I can't even remember. Anyway, yeah, this is just a massive room. A big, a big hollowed out room. And I hoped uh, there'd be some slimes in it now, but it looks like I haven't got lucky. There are usually uh, some slimes in it, and sometimes if you spend a little bit of time in here, uh, you will see them just sort of start to spawn. But yeah, um, it looks like a massive room, and it took so long to hollow it out. I had the help of Longbow, Longshot, Ank, and Agent Cool uh, gave me a hand chiseling it out, and it was pretty much all done with, like, stone tools. <laughs> I used a very small amount of TNT just recently, and basically, if you want to get slimes, you want to dig down to bedrock, then you want to go about four or so layers above bedrock and just keep digging out a big area like this and then hopefully spawns uh, spawns will slime uh, slimes will spawn make sure it's extremely well lit so you don't get any other mobs spawning in here and uh, blocking uh, the slime spawn and hopefully uh, you'll get lucky and that's basically what happened to me and now I have like a stack and a half uh, of slime upstairs so I can make some sticky pistons and make sure that when you're killing a slime as well, you don't want to use any tools. You don't want to use like a pickaxe or a sword or anything. Uh, just use your fist or like a block or something uh, because that way you won't just kill it. You'll break it into smaller slimes and then there's the tiny slimes that when you kill them, uh, they're the ones that actually give out the slime. So make sure you don't spend ages trying to find a slime then you finally get one, get excited, smash it with your sword and waste it all. And oh, I can't believe Porky's died already. Okay, I need to remember to put a grave down there as well. Right, okay. <laughs> Oh my god, there's a skeleton in here. Really? Oh, is this Porky here? There's one dog standing up. Maybe Porky didn't die. I don't even remember how many dogs I had. I don't even want to count them. Um, I'm pretty sure Porky did die down there. I think that was just another dog standing to attention because, like, I hit the skeleton. Right, okay, let's take Duncan with me then. <laughs> I'm pretty sure Porky's dead. I'm pretty sure he is. <laughs> okay, um, I think that's everything I've got to show you. Oh, I've added some signs as well. Look. A, little, a few little signs. There we go. Um, yeah, so that's where Longbow is down there in the Never Portal. But very quickly, I just want to show you one more thing uh, before I start building. Um, basically, what my big project of the future is going to be is I'm going to build a theatre. And it's going to be hopefully the most impressive thing that I've built. And you'll see that I've... Oh, sorry. Come on, Duncan. Nope. Okay, stay there. Um, yeah, I'm going to build a massive theatre, and I've hollowed out this area here. You can see that Anx built a tree out of dirt, and then I built a tree on top of his tree out of dirt. Ignore that for now. That can just be a little mini art feature uh, until we actually properly start building here. But yeah, this area is completely hollowed out. We're going to have a massive theatre here. We're going to have, like, a concession stand. We're going to have a trap door. We're going to have backstage areas. We're going to have flashing lights at the front. We're going to have trap doors, and it's hopefully going to be a big, grand, all bells and whistles uh, theatre built in this area here. And I'm going to put on a show. I'm going to write a play, and we're going to get everyone to dress up in like different skins to be different characters and we're going to perform uh, on the opening night 
uh, a play which is going to be called Stampy and the Magic Pork Chop. Uh, so that's something to look forward to. This is going to be a long ongoing project. I'm not going to build the theatre in one video or anything. It's going to take a long time. And so basically every video I'm just going to update its progress. And so this is progress number one, basically a big uh, empty area. And so hopefully by the next video I will have started it uh, at some point until we can have the big opening night and I can put on the play and hopefully it will just be something quite funny. And while I'm here, might as well update my love garden. I don't think there's many changes. I remember a little wood asked me to add Mostly Harmless uh, underneath his sign, a little nod there to Douglas Adams and Hitchhiker's Guide to the Galaxy. Um, I think all these people have been Oh, and there was someone that was here. It was like Jack or someone asked me to change his name to Dr. Stratocaster. So there you go. And also Danderman74392 is also been added to my love garden. So yeah, join the crew. Get in line. Get in line with your fellow officers and get in rank. And oh, it looks like Longbow's come up. I've told him to make sure he goes to bed because I always have trouble with people not going to bed. So it looks like he's being good. Uh, also, quickly, before I go to bed, one last thing I want to show you is up here which is basically what I was building in my last video you know my minecart track I have finished it so I have now finished uh, the other room which I hadn't finished yet so this is all pretty much the same I think from what you saw last uh, I'm just gonna basically as an excuse to ride my minecart track because I find it so much fun I'm just gonna show you the room here on the other side and I want to be quick because it's getting dark and I don't want a creeper to blow up this area yet again so yeah, it's, it's a little tiny rubbishy room, but it, lo it looks better than what it looked like at the end of the last video. So I wanted to show you that I kind of improved it, like the ceiling just looks a little bit nicer than it did. But anyway, I'm going to go and head off uh, to bed now. Hopefully Longbow's doing the same. Where is he? There he is. Oh my god! <laughs> Longbow's decided to dress up as a lizard man. Yeah, I'm dressing up as a wizard at the moment. I spent most of my time dressed up as a nurse, funnily enough. And I've actually decided the nurse is going to be uh, one of the characters in my, in my play. As I say, the main character is going to be Stampy, and he's probably going to be joined by his uh, dog Gregory. I'm going to have Master Chief in the play, I'm going to have Nancy the nurse, I'm going to have Merlo the drunk wizard, and I'm going to have Craig the camp creeper is going to be the villain. And so that's going to be my play. And so yeah, Longbow, as I said, is going to be building a little shelter in my nether portal. Uh, but I think for now he's going to come and join me down here. And I want to show you what I've been working on today. Today's project is this. This is going to be my library. And as you can see, I've already added a fireplace. I've sort of started planning out what I want the walls to look like and the way I did the fireplace is I used uh, Neverack down there and it's just cobblestone and I don't really want to stand in it because uh, I'll probably die but there's a chimney goes uh, right up to the top of there but also there's something else sneaky down here <gasps> Ta -da! I pull that lever and it opens up the fireplace and reveals a secret corridor that leads to a secret room shh don't tell anybody so yeah this is a little hidden chamber and there's nothing in it yet. Uh, I will put something in here. I'm thinking of just sort of like a treasure room. I might make a few gold blocks, maybe a diamond block or like a lapis block and just sort of make it as if this is sort of my hidden treasure room and uh, have that hidden behind the fireplace. And it took me probably about an hour to get this fireplace working, I won't lie. I did it completely without a tutorial online. I did it all with my own noggin. Uh, I also had a little bit of help from Ank who was sort of uh, showing me what he knew about redstone and eventually we managed to get this working and yeah I'm sure it's not the most elegant redstone ever done I think I did it in quite a complicated way but it works you know and I was going to do it with a button so it's more hidden I thought about using pressure plaids uh, but in the end I thought with a lever it's just easier because I can switch it on and off and there are ways you can do it with buttons so like you invert them and stuff and I, I just couldn't be bothered to learn all of that so basically for now it's just a lever and you can see up here, up to the top of my chimney, that does actually lead uh, right to the top. And I'm going to ask, um, what's his name, Duncan, to come over here and sit down. Because look at him, look at him, already trying to run to my fireplace. Because otherwise he's going to set himself on fire. And I don't want to lose two dogs <laughs> in one video. I've already lost Porky uh, so far in this video. And before you shout at me going, oh my god, Stampy, you're going to burn down your house having all of this wood here. You can't have wood near a fireplace. It's okay. I thought of that. I thought ahead. These are actually made out of... Uh, wooden planks, no sorry, wooden slabs, which means that they're basically not wood. This is basically a stone floor textured to look like wood. So you see that if I try and break it with an axe, uh, it won't actually let me do it. Well, it will, but it'll just make me take ages. And so because of that, it's okay. And I would show you all the redstone. Actually, I'll, I'll show you a little bit of the redstone wiring. Why not? Uh, I'm just scared I'm going to break something and muck it all up. But yeah, you can see it all leads back here. And the way I've done it, it's just sticky pistons there pushing out cobblestone block. And then when I pull the lever, it basically pulls the cobblestone back and it goes all the way down underneath to the other side. And 
yeah, that, that's pretty much it. It's, it's nothing majorly complicated. Anyone with any uh, basic novel, knowledge of redstone will be able to do it. And I mean, I made, I was able to do it, so you know it can't be too difficult. Oh god, I destroyed too many blocks than I needed there. So yeah, and it also leads underneath and it pushes the never rack down. Uh, one of the only problems is that when the never rack goes down, it does put out the fire, so you always got to relight it, which is okay because you don't really want the fire lit as you go through the fireplace, but um, it's just annoying every time you go back, it doesn't relight, you've got to go and light it yourself. And okay, I think I've set a record for rambling in this video. I've spoke for 15 minutes pretty much and I've not built anything. So this isn't gonna be my most productive video, but I had built uh, quite a lot. So I did have quite a lot to show you more than usual. Or actually, I don't, I don't like him just sitting there. I'm just gonna put the fire out for now and then I'm gonna, I'll, I'll let him wander. I think this is a safe area. I don't think there's anything that could really kill him here. I think this is an okay place for him to just run around. I also need to remember to go and check out Longbow at the end of the video. I don't want to get to the end of the video and sort of ignore anything that he's built. He's basically making it so that, if you don't know, ghasts, which are the big, horrible, white, ghosty things that live in the nether, they can, like, break your nether portal. Like, they don't destroy it, it stays in one piece, but if they hit it, it sort of stops working, which is, stop eating my wood. And, um, it makes it so you can't go back through for a few minutes. So he's basically building something to surround uh, my nether portal inside the nether uh, just to make it a little bit safer. So that's what he's going to be doing during this video. And I'll go and check it out uh, at the end of the video. Do you need to go get more? I've used this, um, I don't know what type of wood that is. It's pine, is it? Is it pine? I don't know. Some wood experts probably annoyed that I said that. Yeah, I've, I've used this kind of wood just because I've not used it with anything yet. And I built up quite a big supply of it. And I, I just thought it was just... I don't know, just an another pattern which I hadn't used. You know, I didn't want another just wooden plank room. And I had to have the floor wooden planks just because um, uh, I had to do it with that thing so it's actually stone, just so it wouldn't all set on fire. So, as I said, this is going to be my library, so this is all going to be filled up with bookshelves. So I might actually do that before I actually build a ceiling or anything because I think that's sort of a bit more of an important part of the room. I think you'd rather see that completed rather than see me spending ages. And, oh yeah, this area here... It's going to be a little corridor leading down the side here, basically because I had that whole bit up there and I wanted to cover it up. So there'll be a double doorway here, which will lead you through here and then out to here, which leads down here just to like the bottom of my area. Oh, also, I also want to say a special thanks to Ank, who put some struts up. He was always got annoyed at the fact that my house kind of looked a little bit like it was floating. <laughs> and so I said, Ank, because it was your birthday, I'm going to be nice to you and I'm going to let you build supports under my house. So he's actually put some some struts down now so my house looks a little bit more steady because normally in heavy winds every time you try to walk across my house it would sway slightly and uh, it was kind of terrifying so it's uh, a bit more of a sturdy structure now. So yeah, thank, thanks Hank because of that. And the reason I'm using stone for this area is basically because I use stone on that side. It makes the room look a little bit more consistent. Like It makes it look like I planned to make the room look like this rather than it was required because I didn't want to set everything on fire. And if you are building a fireplace yourself and you're doing it after the most recent update or after the first update sorry uh, you can use bricks is the best uh, material because it actually stops fire from spreading so if you do have clay in your world and you're lucky enough to be able to use bricks uh, then that is the best thing to build your fireplace out of and actually looks probably a little bit better than cobblestone but unfortunately because I was old school when I made my world like when I pretty much first got Minecraft um, I'm forced to have to use like horrible cobblestone but oh well it does my purpose okay and it, it does look fireplacey doesn't it I also want to add some never rack to the top so I can kind of have like smoke coming out the top I think will also look quite cool and is this is this okay I think I might have this all one row back I think this is a little bit too close I did realize that I just replaced a pickaxe with another pickaxe I wasn't really thinking there <laughs> yeah then I'm gonna go and uh, I'm gonna make some bookcases and then hopefully that'll be almost my library complete I actually, actually might have some like sofas down like some sofas in the middle of the room I'm just so scared of adding like anything wooden that it's all just gonna like get set on fire too which would kind of suck actually that, that needs to be there anyway because that's going to be where the wall is all right i do believe i actually made some uh doors okay i made one door i need to make another door yeah i'm going to try and just build as much as i can then i'm going to have to show you this room completed in the next video because i want to make sure i do have time to make a trip down to the nether and i try to keep these videos not too long i don't want to bore you that much <laughs> get out of the way duncan Duncan's a weird name for a dog. I suppose then again, Gregory's quite a weird name for a dog. 
There's also something else which I really wish I could announce now, but I don't want to announce it too soon and then it doesn't actually happen. But if you like Gregory, then in the in the near future, I shall hopefully have an exciting announcement which should be able to bring you all closer to Gregory. Um, okay, right, I'm going to add a few bookshelves in now. Uh, how do I make bookshelves? Okay. I swear I brought a load of sugar down with me. Is it all down in here? Yeah, there we go, a load of sugar cane. I got like a near endless supply of sugar cane from my farm, so that is that isn't too much of a worry. It's just it just takes up so much wood making um bookcases. Yeah, it's like so much. And it's such a laborious way to make like bookshelves. Like you've got to make paper, then you've got to make books, then you've got to make bookshelves. But like paper and books have no use whatsoever for their own. Like, as far as I know, maybe in a later version, but at the moment, like the only reason you'd make paper or books is to make a bookshelf. So why not just cut out the middleman and go straight to being able to make bookshelves. It'd be so much easier. <laughs> but yeah, I, I, I just make this amount. I won't bother about filling up the room entirely. Oh, but why is Duncan getting hurt? What has he found to like hurt himself with? This is like the safest area. There was a fire. I put it out. He should be fine. Um, right. Okay, let's see how many it will let me make. Okay, 30, 35. That, that'll do for now. That, that's, that's a decent amount. Right, okay, let me decide how I'm going to have them. I'm assuming like in rows along here will look quite cool. Uh, I don't know how high to have them. I don't, I don't want to have them like completely like covering the entire wall like around the side basically because I want to show off like my walls. I don't want to waste that, that wood by covering everything up with bookshelves. I think, I think something like this might look quite cool and then something pretty similar on this side. Uh, is this going to be too close to my fire do you think? That's kind of I'm, actually. I'm, I'm gonna relight the fire. Relight the fire, and um, oh no! I'm just gonna set myself on fire. Right, doggy, Duncan, Duncan, Duncan boy, Dunky, Dunkers, come on, dirty Dunkers, where are you? Dunkykins, Dunkalicious. Right, Dunky, sit down there. Dunky. Okay, I'm gonna call him Dunky from now on. <laughs> okay, Dunky, you sit down there, and I'm just gonna leave the fire on for a bit and just see if that does catch fire or not. Right, let's line this up so it's even, otherwise I'm going to get really annoyed by that. <laughs> I just I just heard the fire like roaring and I was scared it was all going to set on fire. So yeah, you can kind of get the- oh, did I just destroy that bookshelf? You can kind of get the idea of what this place will be like. I think I add a sofa in the middle here and I'm going to have my bookshelves going along the side like that. My fire there and I'm going to put- actually no, I'll I leave that there for now. Actually no, I'm going to put the fire out because I'm going to watch this room for a bit in a minute and make sure none of this catches fire. But, okay, use your imagination. Imagine a really nice roof made out of wood. Imagine this finished with a door leading to a really nice door out there. And then imagine this filled with bookshelves. Imagine sofas. Imagine my room there finished. Imagine smoke coming out my chimney. And then you would have imagined a much better video than I actually made and a much better building than I've actually built. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to quickly go up to bed and then in the morning I'm going to take a quick visit down to Longbow uh, in the Never and I'm going to see everything that he's built. Oh, what's, what's he showing me? He's writing me a sign. <laughs> Duncan there just pushing in his way. <laughs> I'm going to give Duncan a pork chop because he's been okay, he's been quite good. He's done better than Porky anyway. Oh, bless Porky. I, I, didn't, even, I didn't even fake like sadness about Porky. Come to Never bring bed. Okay. Right, I guess I'd better make a bed then. I don't think I've got any spare beds. What do I need? Oh, I need I need one more wall. How inconvenient that I just didn't have enough. <laughs> right, okay, Dunky, you're gonna have to stay here because um yeah, no dogs in the never, I'm afraid, buddy. Whoa, why is all my wall out there? Right, let's, let's see what he's built. Okay, I guess we're not sleeping here. I guess we're going to go and have a nap in the nether instead. It's been ages since I've been down to my nether room. This is like one of like my really early videos I went down here. I remember how proud I was that I built this. I built two doors that open, even open like really wonky and rubbish. And I was so proud that I managed to work redstone. I was like, I could do redstone. And now like I've built that collapsing fireplace I've sort of put it to shame <laughs> this whole world for me is basically going to be me learning Minecraft and by the time they've up updated it so it's nearer the PC version and they got all of that new stuff I should sort of be up to par and I might sort of make a new world then and sort of make better things but with every new thing I build I, I learn something new and that's the only way you're going to do it you know 
And I tried to learn it as much by myself rather than just sort of spending all day on Minecraft wikis and looking online and stuff. Okay, well this is this is a nicer sight to be greeted by than just sort of a massive Neverack. Um, right, what's he got? Pigmen meat. Mm, okay. Let's take some of that. I love the taste of pigmen. Tastes like chicken. Whoa, what the... Was that a ghast? What's that? <laughs> what's going on here? <laughs> what is this? It's just some glitchy... What is going on? Huh? I think they're like a ghast fireball, which is just frozen in midair. Oh, 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 look at them. They're massive. Get out, get out, get out. Let me in, let me in, let me in, let me in. Oh my god. Right, what's this? I think this is like a observation post. Oh, listen to the sounds they make. Was that a pigman? Oh, there's a sign out there. Don't waste your sign. Oh, let me back in. Oh, is that really good? It sounds like a little kid. It sounds like a little, like, baby pigman. Is that like a, a pigman child? <laughs> a pig child? A pig baby? <laughs> oh, man, I, I never remember the never being this scary. I remember the first time I went in it, I was just like... It was just really anticlimactic, and I was like, oh, there's nothing here. I'm actually kind of creeped out by it. Right, okay, I'm gonna make a dash back to that safe house. Uh, I've learned my lesson not to attack a pigman, because that didn't that didn't work very well in the past. Oh, there's another little room in here. Oh, he's literally just built that now. He's only had the time of this video to build this, by the way. So in the time it took me to place like 10 bookshelves and one wall, he's built all of this. <laughs> it just emphasized how inefficient a builder I am. I suppose I was showing you around the lighthouse and stuff anyway. Anyway, like, it looks like we're gonna go to bed now. I assume that's why he asked me to bring a bed. I don't, it doesn't matter about having torches in the nether. Like, I suppose no mobs really spawn down here, do they? You don't get creepers and that down in here, do you? Okay, this is the bedroom, is it? Right. I'm gonna go to bed. So, oh my god! Um. Uh. I had a nightmare, Longbow. Oh no, this was real. This was real. This did actually blow up. <laughs> Um, thanks for showing me that longbow. <laughs> for that, I'm going to set fire to something. Actually, no, I would set fire to it. I remember this is actually my world. I'd just be setting fire to my world. Anyway, that about brings us towards the end of the video. In my next video inside Stampy's Lovely World, I will hopefully have finished my library and my little secret room and I'll show it all off and done a little bit of progress on my theatre. So I thank want to thank you for joining me on my little mini adventure inside my lovely world. As always, thank you for watching my video and I will see you later. Goodbye.